you know, there's this real idolization of CEOs today and leaders in, especially in Silicon Valley, I think. And we've spoken before about kind of the the myth of the CEO and the superhero CEO. What do you think people get wrong about these notions and why sh- should we maybe rethink them? So when I was an early stage CEO of Slush, my previous company, um, my chairman of the board at the time, an experienced investor, told me that, like, you know, Mickey, you're a CEO, you're like the knight on the white horse. Like, you want to be there at the front with your sword in the air, leading the troops to the battle. But if you really want to build something big, something scalable, like, you need to be able to build a team that is able to succeed, succeed without you. And your biggest KPI at the end of the day is if you die tomorrow, is the company still going to succeed? Like, are you able to build something that succeeds, uh, you know, in your absence? Uh, and I think if I look at the like the the methodolo- methodology of the founder or the like the the all powerful CEO, it's almost like creating this picture of someone that you know like you know hires everyone up until a thousand employees, which to me tells that oh you don't trust your people to hire people, like you know because ultimately your job as a CEO is to build a team that succeeds without you. Your team is to build a team that you can trust to hire really good people because if you're re- required for every hire. Your company is not going to be, you know, a very scalable hiring operation. 